an article of our faith is binding upon us. It states, we believe in being subject to kings, presidents, rulers, and magistrates in obeying, honoring, and sustaining the law. One cannot obey the law and disobey the law at the same time. Ironically, during this same year, Ensign Peak advisors approached Gordon B. Hinckley because he was in charge of Ensign Peak. And they said, hey, President Hinckley, we were notified that we have to fill out these 13F forms. What do we do? 13F forms are forms that a company or an individual legally have to fill out if they make over $100 million. And what did President Hinckley tell Ensign Peak to do? Of course, he told them to obey the law. Actually, no. He told them to hide the money. Over the next 22 years, Ensign Peak continued to approach the Prophet and his two counselors concerning these 13F forms. And each time the answer was the same. Hide the money. The First Presidency told them to create fake companies with fake managers in which to report the money. This would allow them to report to some degree without the public knowing that all this money actually belonged to the church. As a result, 12 shell companies were created to hold these funds. They even went so far as to forge some of these names of these managers who actually had no autonomy in these LLCs. And each year, the First Presidency, from Hinckley to Faust to Monson to Uchtdorf to Eyring to Oaks to President Nelson, all of these men who claimed to be representatives and apostles of Jesus Christ continually instructed that Ensign Peak hide the church's wealth illegally. During these 22 years, different whistleblowers have tried to call the church out on their violation of the law. But it wasn't until last week that the church was legally found out and is now paying a $5 million settlement for this violation. Which isn't actually very much considering the church has $180 billion. Every year, the church receives from $5 to $8 billion a year in tithing revenue. So which is it, President Nelson? Are you disobeying the law or aren't you? Also, is this really what Jesus would do? Stockpile all this money and not give any of it to charity?